In the face of rising calls to quit office, Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa is eager to form an interim all-party government. The president is chairing a meeting today with the leaders of political parties in the coalition government and the leaders of political parties that decided to remain independent from the government. Now, the present political situation is expected to be discussed. In addition, the all-party conference that is to be convened by the president will also be discussed at the meeting. As Rajapaksa invited leaders of his party to discuss the crisis, the 11 political parties that became independent in the parliament have conditionally agreed to attend the meeting. Former coalition partner of uh, the SLFP said that they will attend the meet only without the presence of the Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and the Cabinet of Ministers. Meanwhile, the SJB has said that the no-confidence motion against the government will be tabled in Parliament before the 4th of May. The parliamentarian Vasudeva Nanayakara has said the no-confidence motion will be moved if the Prime Minister does not step down, while another MP, Udaya Gamampila, said an alternative needs to be prepared prior to the resignation of the Prime Minister. Now for the latest updates on this, we are on correspondent. Dasuni Atora joins us live from Colombo. Dasuni, thank you for being with us. Now, the Sri Lankan President Gautabaya Rajapaksa is chairing a meeting today. He is, of course, eager to form an interim all-party government, this in a bid to try and stay in power. What are we expecting from the meeting? Good morning, Alison. Yes, um, as we speak right now, the meeting just got underway a few moments go ago, and then we do have confirmation that uh, the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, along with the independent MPs, which comprise of about 40 MPs, the leaders of those parties, will be attending. And uh, just a few moments ago, we also did receive confirmation uh, that the Ceylon Workers' Congress, which is headed by MP Jeevan Thondaman, however, will not be attending this meeting. Now, this meeting was an invitation that was extended by President Gotabe Rajapaksa to all government MPs to look into a possibility of forming an interim government. Now, this is not the first instance that President Gotabe Rajapaksa has extended for an interim government to be formed. And in the previous occasion, like we all know so far, uh, the opposition has vehemently denied the request of uh, forming an interim government. So we can wait to see in the coming hours as to what decisions uh, the governing party MPs will come up with, whether they will give the green light to go ahead with the forming of a coalition government, and then we must wait to see how the opposition reacts for this. Absolutely. On that, Dasuni, how have the other political parties been reacting this time? You have spoken about historically not being interested. Do you think the Rajapaksa government can garner enough support to even ward off a no confidence motion? I think, just like we discussed in previous occasions as well, uh, the opposition has been quite strong in their stance, stating that they will not work with the Rajapaksa-led government. And in the event um, a, a coalition government is to be formed, that they will only go ahead, provided that the prime minister and the president is not in office or if they step down. So it will be interesting to see what difference this invitation, once again, from the president holds or whether they have different conditions to which the opposition might agree. But the general mood as of right now is that the opposition is very much unwilling to work with President Gotabe Rajapaksa and Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa. Right, Dasuni, thank you very much for bringing us all the latest details coming out of Colombo. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.